Why is it important to lift weights while being in a caloric deficit? But, well, today I'm going to share exactly that with you. But most importantly, I'm going to show the opposite side. When you go far beyond your calorie deficit and you drop your calories to about 800 calories a day. Now, one of the biggest reasons why you would actually want to lift weights while in a caloric deficit is so that you can maintain your muscle tissue. For example, right now I'm currently preparing for a show, right? And one of the biggest things I'm doing is in my deficit, I'm maintaining as much muscle mass as possible. So when I do appear on stage, I'm flat, near or soft. And this is exactly why you also don't want to crash diet. And here's the thing you probably didn't know. Yes, I'm going to get stronger while being in deficit because I'm maintaining muscle tissue. But am I going to gain more muscle? No, because my goal is I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying, I'm trying to get leaner. And you may be like, oh, what's the difference? One's nervous system related and one's hypertrophy related. So that's why you want to lift in a caloric deficit so you can maintain the muscle tissue you have. But here's where people go wrong. You, where you go wrong is when you go in a deficit, you go in a thousand calorie deficit. So let's say your basal metabolic rate is standard 1700 calories, which is the amount of energy that you burn by just walking, breathing, and just doing your daily activities, right? And you're supposed to be eating in a slight deficit of 300, 500 to lose weight. So instead of eating 1500 calories or 1400 calories, which is about a 200, 300 calorie deficit, you drop it to 800. And now what you basically do is you lose muscle tissue in the process. Yes, you're going to lose weight. And when you lose that muscle tissue, it takes your regular basal metabolic rate, which is about 1700, drops it down to 1500. Why? Because muscle is here to help preserve your basal metabolic rate. That's, and that's why you want to be in that slight deficit. But now you're eating 800 calories. Your basal is 1500. And let's say you lose 30 pounds. Great. But now you're gaining back faster because usually you would eat 1,800 calories, 1,900 calories, 2,000 calories, and now you're back to eating it with a lower basal metabolic rate. And you're like, fuck, I need to lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds. You drop it back to 800 because it worked the first time, right? Guess what? BMR, 1,300 now, slower than ever. And yes, you lose the weight, and then over time, you go right back to eating the same way. And guess what happens? You're eating a lot more than you're actually burning, and you're just widening that gap continuously if you keep crash dieting. And if you keep repeating this cycle over and over again, that's where you can get to a point where you're eating 1200 calories, where you're eating rabbit food just to try and survive and you absolutely have no appetite. And this is truly where most go wrong. It's because they don't preserve muscle mass while being in deficit and they rush the process, which therefore makes it harder and harder every time you lose and gain, lose and gain. And this is why when I train clients that have all they've done is crash diet their entire life, we actually go through a recovery process through certain phases, which is basically helping them build back muscle tissue, which is having a solid muscle foundation that can help you increase your BMR. And that involves coming to the gym, lifting weights, eating a little bit more gradually, so therefore you can build yourself back up. But it's gonna give you a healthier body, a stronger body. How many of you are crash dieting over and over again? You feel tired, you can barely lift anything, you can barely walk, you used to be so active, and now you just feel like a zombie. It's because you're putting your body through this process it gets tiring. So flip the script, try something new. But with that being said, I hope this video brought you tremendous value and hope you have the best day ever. Stay beautiful, stay blessed. Catch you next time.